The genesis of this conversion occurred when I stumbled upon the thin plastic for sale signs in the store and thought, I could probably cut that on a Cricut. I don't know why, but something feels wrong about gluing paper to plastic miniatures, so I thought I'd give this method a try. If you saw my Possessed Kit Bash video, you'll remember I cut out plastic templates to sculpt custom wings, and now I'm going to attempt to make a custom tower shield and a miniature for a fellow player's character in the Pathfinder campaign we're currently in. Completely unsolicited by him, by the way. Hope he likes it. The base model I'm using for this conversion is Sir William the Peacemaker from Reaper. I'm kind of fickle, fickle, and tend to jump around a lot when working on these kit bash conversions, so ignore the various states of completions the miniature is in until the end. I can't make sense of my process. So I'm doing my best to present this in a way that's somewhat linear. I'll make your ass linear. Anyway, the character's name is Brant. I'm a little foggy on his classes, cleric and fighter maybe? Regardless, Brant trudges around in full plate, always teetering on the edge of encumbrance, and he has a halberd and a tower shield. Oh, and he's evil with a penchant for setting stuff on fire, so that's fun. He worships Zuriel, the horseman of war, so I thought I could adorn the tower shield with Zuriel's unholy symbol. It's described as a pale hand holding a black sword upward. Funny enough, this was the only image of the symbol I could find online. Pale hand, black sword. I redrew the symbol to be a bit easier to cut out and just winged it the whole way through. I didn't set the blade on the Cricut to the right material, so I had to cut through scored plastic instead of having it just cut out for me. I glued the design onto a thicker piece of plastic and then cut that out. First one wasn't large enough, so I made another one and tried again. I wanted the shield to be slightly curved, but I couldn't make it work. I tried dipping it in boiling water with no luck. I didn't use a heat gun because I was afraid I would melt the mini in the process. <sighs> so I cut it out one final time with a reworked hand design to make it easier on myself. The Horseman of War is rocking mittens now, no big deal. I made a border piece to make the back of the shield look a bit more interesting. And finally, instead of using a thicker piece of plastic for the base of the shield, I just cut out two pieces from the definitely flexible plastic and glued those together. And boom, boom. much better result. Cut away the old tower shield and replace the super glue ridden arm with a new one taken from a putrid blight king sprue. Tower shield done. I removed the original head with vague intentions to use it sometime in the future. I replace it with a helmet from that same eBay sprue lot I unboxed in a previous video. It doesn't look too nurgly and fits pretty snug between the shoulder pads on the model. The top knot did break off a couple times, fat fingers, but I glued it back on no problem. As for the halberd, well, I started off trying to cut one out of some thick plastic. The back half snapped off and I had to glue it back on. I used a rotary tool to make the blade tapered and flatten out the super glue and accelerator connection point. I added some thin plastic to cover up the toothpick staff portion of the halberd with some tiny rivets added for a bit of extra detail. Cut off the sword, drill through the hand. and force the toothpick through the plastic while it's still warm from drilling. I cut up this staff from that same eBay sprue lot, really trying to get the most use out of that stuff, and then cap the bottom and top of the halberd. This was perfectly fine as is, and I could have been done, but I'm fickle, and something was telling me to change it. So I dug into some Blood Warrior, Blood Reaver, blood something models and put together this axe and short sword knife and swap them out. This is proof I could never do commissions. I also did some slight green stuff work to the chest so there wasn't a gap between the armor and the helmet and since this will see some time on the tabletop I painted it but definitely not with craft paints. I know how some of you hate that. 
I haven't shown it to my acquaintance yet. I'm always hesitant to refer to people as friends because I never know if it's mutual or not. Hope he likes it. So I was recently visited by a shadow entity who told me that the sarcastic tone I've used in the calls to action in my previous two videos was unprofessional. So I apologize. I've been told that if that kind of behavior were to persist, I would be subject to extensive content creator reprogramming training, which sounds scary. So make sure to leave a comment below. Do you make custom minis for your characters in D&D or Pathfinder? Tell me your stories. That shadow entity also told me that not only should you subscribe, but you should tell a friend so that together you can back body drop the like button right on its head. Okay, that's all. I've got like five partially done terrain pieces to get back to, so thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye.